Always stay bright. Always stay alert. That's what I say. So okay. many people here, all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. I've blown my all my shards. Must be the spire. Is she? It's huge. Amora? Apparently, they're letting anyone into the city these days. Only the finest goods here. On bows. Vengeance for Ursa. I have like none left. Will Avad hide in his palace to lay sea blood for blood? Vengeance for Ursa. How long will Avad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister murdered and her death unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Do you know where you're going? Ooh, fancy digs this guy got. It's all for that spelunking he's been doing. Okay, how are we gonna get in? Kick it. <laughs> oh, that was... <laughs> Kick subtle. it! Here we are. Try not to break anything. That other than oh, the door. This rug is frayed. All of this for one man. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Call it a day, girl. You're wasting time. There's a vault, there's a key, man. You relax, I'll find it. It looks like a picture of Olin's family. It looks like a picture of Olin's family. <laughs> looks big and heavy. Let's give it a little push. Ingots. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? Nope. You said nothing. It's not illegal if I don't see it. I thought it was going to be a little bit more subtle than that, but you know. I thought it was going to be a little, use a little finesse to get what I want. My womanly ways. Drop a stack of ingots. I guess that works. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. Serve and they live. Disobey and I will open their throats and leave their corpses to prune in the sun. They took his wife and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. 
How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses, too. Like, looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Redridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. Olin's at the excavation site. He's running into walls. Um, quest. I could do it now. Have I been to Redridge Pass? No, I haven't. Oh, it's a... I almost feel like I should... Oh, I'm heading there anyways. All right. Got one extra skill. I will do that. Got some extra stuff here too. There's a man. You there! Can him. you help me? Just a moment of your time, please. The sun will more change. Let me raid your stashes first, then I will talk to you. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the Liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. Okay, I'll get I'll your I'll see what stick. I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, 
and my family, for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. I thought there was, a, there was another green. Yeah, there it is. This place smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. Is that some kind of spice? So <laughs> what? Weirdo. Mark my words. Get up here. Talk to these guys. What is this a church? You need to win three half sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well then. Congratulations and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk? Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs. Present yourself to the sun hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. What do you got? By the sun! King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But... All the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Asaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. Good for you, entrepreneur. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Ooh. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half-suns, one for 15 full-suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. Can I see? What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a hunter's lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. I see. So that's the purpose of the Hunter's Lodge. Guess the goose weapons, yeah. Holy shit, they have... This guy right in the middle. Thunderjaw. Uh, quests. Guy? Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? 
A fighter from the Savage Lands. The Sacred Land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me. Do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing, right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. This guy's such a dick. <laughs> Where's Talana? You're Talana? I see said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Mm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Assis, what's his story? He's the Sunhawk of the Lodge. The highest ranking asshole. <laughs> sorry, member. He's taken down Ravagers, Stalkers, Behemoths. So? I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. But he's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes a Sunhawk. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to Assis, the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. How does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies, his thrush is promoted in his place, no matter how anyone feels about it. So you have to die? Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the Lodge in other ways. Unlike the other Hawks, who hoard all the best kills and drink the bar dry. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three Sawtooths, two Ravagers, and a Stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me. I'll consider it. Just to make a sea spoil. The hell, man? I've killed all those. Oh, come on. Let's see. Let's see. I think it, ha it probably has to be in those specific areas, too. Alright, quests. Let's go down here. Talk to I think his squire thing, Gilmabob. I thought this was a carja city. Oh, I to talk to this guy first. Someone over there. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no. Oh, there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your- Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant a, a well-molded <laughs> woman such as you. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Those Banuk are canny, too canny. 
I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. <laughs> you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they <laughs> choose to there. live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right. More of an opportunist. Uh, girl. Nora, girl. <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities. Risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. Another side quest. Gotta mark where this is. Really quickly. Can I interest you in a reasonable share of a lucrative opportunity? Just grab them all now, just in case they overlap each other. This is the last one in this city. Better make it good. You're Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaron who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. A shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Flint hawks perched there, drawn to the spires shining. So, clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. 
Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in its arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried, in the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. Holy crap, that was a long conversation. <laughs> Robin the Rich. So many supply crates everywhere. Is it just me or the card to All right, let's investigate this crime scene. Talk to the steward. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see. Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Drops of blood bleeding away. Yep, yep. Oh, never mind. There's always a trail of blood, isn't More there? Blood. I'm still on the trail. You don't want to know what they were doing. Still more blood. The thief got cut. The trail ends here. But someone must have seen that thief. Who's a witness? Hello there. Hello. Sorry, I have no news that would interest you. I'm thinking about the claim. Should I do something? I'd wrong? like to discuss a trade with you, Outlander. Why would I want this? Thank you. My boss said he lost another caravan to You're looking for artifacts. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. 
Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banuk. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben-Ur. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banuk rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. You said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes. I've been to Ben-Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. Tell me more about these Banuk figures. Simple wood sculptures, made by Arnak, a legendary hunter who was exiled from Ban-Ur for killing his chief. He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them. If you have any. I don't think I have any of these. You ready? Let's trade then. Nope. No way. I got these. Come on back if you find any Banuk goods. Excuse me, Outlander? I'm looking for Banuk artifacts. 